Hi Virgo Moon, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Carrot 144, very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Virgo. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a six card spread. I've already pre-shuffled the deck here. We're all set and ready to go, no reversals. The background color is due to the polarity energy of Pisces here for you. This being what is being done for each um, zodiac sign in this round of readings here. And so with that being said, um, I do polarities as I'm guided. Uh, the energy pertaining to uh, partnerships, relationships, opposites, balance, what it is that um, could be fed more into if there's too much of one on one side and then maybe seeking that out um, to find that balance from within and that being the Pisces energy from within you. So take what resonates um, as far as that message, as far as this reading, let's go ahead and get started. Your first card we have is the Six of Wands, so we have victory. And this is your energy here. So I love that this is coming out. Um, this definitely speaks to where it is that you're at, where it is that you stand, and what it is that you always do. <laughs> Sixth house energy is you here. Um, it's also about unconditional love. I do see a new start and a new beginning and you not just winning, but also moving forward. Something I feel as you're moving forward, there may have been some kind of chaos or something completely drastic that you're leaving behind. Because I see this horse looking like, oh, my goodness. Like whatever you left behind or whoever you left behind, I think you're going to know what that means for you. Um, but I do feel it could be something highly toxic and there being massive tower moments for all of those energies um, connected to that energy of toxicity that you're leaving behind and having the actual victory and win, moving yourself away from that stuff and being able to move on and move forward into a new beginning, which I do see here with this wand here. Wands is fire, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a fucus. Could be a possible three of wands here, magician person here who is manipulative. And then moving on, I'm seeing uh, three wands here, but I see a split. And the three wands, the Gemini energy is a part of your energy too, with the mercurial energy being connected. Um, so I'm getting more of, and it's that polarity energy I was just speaking on, leaving this three of wands energy because there was some heavy toxicity is what I'm getting towards a new three of wands where it's it's a new perspective. It's a new look on things. Having a closer look, taking a closer look, reassessing and redefining what this three of wands, getting away from that toxicity and redefining what that means for you here. So I do see uh, a wand here and a wand here between two people and then having this new star overall here for you. All right, your next card. Wow, wonderful. We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new offer. This is a beautiful, this is connected to this new start in that Ace of Wands. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here. And with that, I'm getting the energy of 10. And that's speaking to uh, those endings coming into new beginnings. The 10s breaking down to the energy of 1. And then that 1 being the Aries energy of an emperor is also what I'm getting. So a lot of you have this emperor from within you and are manifesting i do feel um with that other wand being present another emperor into your life where you got some big chink i want to say big ching ching big change big coin big everything coming through <laughs> like it's it's massive i'm just getting the word massive so you have a massive amount that's coming through a major offer a new start of stability and practicality which is what you're totally all about here. And I do see this as being a part of a divine offer here. It has good graciousness to it as well. Great beauty, integrity, 
a lot of purity is also what I'm getting. Something that's been cleansed, that's renewed. And this could be even about you and you being this pinnacle from within. And now, again, just manifesting everything from within you is beautifully manifesting itself on the outer here. Pinnacles is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and you. And then um, with the Ace Energy, that being about having nothing to do with the past. So that just confirming even more of leaving the past behind one. And then moving on into the Ace Energy, that one energy that I was picking up on into a new, a new contract is also what I'm getting. Contract energy, I'm seeing with that five connected to the one that's here. This being your overall energy of six. Here, font energy is the card of five where I'm getting that energy of a new contract and a new offer. And the ching ching and the big ching, the big coin, big everything here. Major offer coming through for sure. And I do see two different flowers here too. So this could definitely be about a new stable start here between you and another person here. The color red and the color white could definitely be significant. I am getting a lot of it possibly being uh, connected to a galactic energy. Wonderful. Okay, your next card. <laughs> we have the Hermit. And this is your card here. I don't feel that this is you, though. I feel that this is the person that you're bringing in, the person that has possibly helped you to find the hermit from within yourself to discover that true light. You being, just as I said, I just get that you're this, in, this is all from within you manifesting itself in the outer. And I do see that someone is seeing you for the true light that you are that may have been um, attempted to be kept or placed inside of something, caged, kept, controlled, and that being what it is that you left behind. Not even knowing that this is happening. Someone really just having having it out for you, having all kinds of jealousy, envy, control methods, doing things behind the scenes, behind your back too, is also what I'm getting. Um, that was coming through for Pisces pretty intensely. Um, not recently, but at the onset of their readings, uh, they had a lot of Ten of Swords. And with that being your polarity energy, you also having that witchy energy connected to your finances with the love money and you readings I was doing. There's major discovery that's here. And I do feel that this is someone that's helping you, that's also seeing you. And because they're seeing you and what it is that you're experiencing or have experienced, they're here to help you and assist you. Mirroring energies here too as well. You being success and victory, someone else here being this here too as well. But I feel that they're more more concealed with the way that it is that they are, more frugal um, when it comes to other people, not in comparison to you. But I do feel that this is more of what it is that you're attracting and what it is that you're interested in. But I do see a, a wand here and mirroring energy here with the wand as well. So something coming together between you and another person. I do see now here too that that red may be more pertaining to you. And then this white energy being uh, more pertaining to this person here. The nine energy also being connected to Jupiter and Sagittarius. And now that I say that too, Jupiter also being the ruler of Pisces. Everything working out in the way that it's supposed to. And all that you've put in to a situation or to relationships or people that did not work out, it's coming, it's returning back to you 100 fold if not a million fold. So we have that here. And I do see this being a, a certain journey here of someone who may have been a part of your past, now returning to come and assist you. They're seeing you for your truth and that you're this true pinnacle here is what I'm getting. But now that they see you as this true pinnacle, I do feel that this is about a major offer that's coming through here for you. Beautiful energy. Nines are also about completion, coming into new beginnings. And that being a part of that 10 energy too that I was getting here, going from the nine to the 10 and having a new beginning. Lovely. Let's see what your next card is. We have the Page of Swords. This is being seen, this coming together. And that's all I'm getting there. 
It's also being protected. I feel that this person here is doing the the absolute best that they can. Um, and they're doing a great job here too of protecting. I feel that this is someone that's helping to keep you safe and protected, um, particularly, particularly from this person. And it could be what that horse is looking at now that I'm seeing the alignment that's here that horse being very attentive and you're and that just speaks to your surroundings and how it is that you're safe and protected everything that is magnetized towards you and is around you is designed to keep you safe so regardless of what may take place with the ill intent of someone else with the intent of these towers is also what i'm seeing here it's not effective but they are watching and they are seeing what's happening and they may not be happy and that's too damn bad Swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Your next card. Yeah. Uh, five of swords here. And ain't nobody got time for that. I feel that this is the energy of this particular person here. We're just going to keep these cards together here because I feel that you have risen above this particular energy here. This is more air energy of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And there's that five energy of the past contract. So whoever it is that you were dealing with in the past that you've put behind you here just reacting in a certain way because they're they're big mad completely big mad and that's it we reap what we sow i feel that you don't even care you're the victor here you have the victory here so again have risen i even got the title for you uh moving on up the jeffersons was on right before i started this so i do believe that that may be the title for this fives are also about change someone could be heavily obsessed with you uh, fives being about sexual attraction here too. Someone just super salty and big mad. And we see the red energy where I'm getting that connect going back to the flower here and the delicacy of you. You being the sun, possibly shining the truth on this person here too with all that yellow and the Gemini energy supporting you here too. Uh, Libra energy I'm seeing with the pink. And that being connected to balance. Um, you know, these could be waters, balancing waters. And I was getting that here, being cleansed. Transformative energy that's taking place and things are changing. And because they're changing, someone's not happy. There's nothing that they can do about it. Six of swords all together here. As I see this sword and then the five of swords, you've moved away from this. It's over. Your next card. It's no secret because it's right here in the reading. That's all I'm getting from this moon card is that they're trying to hide it and they can't hide it because you have the sun here, the red energy that's present here. Cannot be hidden. Pisces energy is also here. This is speaking to the polarity energy from within you and just how you have balanced yourself and strengthened yourself. And um, anything that comes towards you, it's reflection on these towers. Here's the towers again. And I feel that you're in the middle. You're in the midst of this. And you're actually able to see the towers of those who had intent towards you negatively now experiencing their towers. There's towers all over this, this whole row. And you have nothing to do with it. It's all up here between you and someone else and this Ace of Pentacles start. This is another nine energy here. We have two nines. And then the moon is the ruler of Cancer, unconditional love. That energy of unconditional love goes back to that six energy from within you and that six of wands energy that's present there. Super beautiful. Let's see what's on the bottom. And I'm not taking um, reversals, but this wanted to appear. This is a Pisces card here. I just feel that this is speaking to your strong stance of enlightenment how it is that you are abundant, how you're transmuting the energy of anyone who may try to keep you stagnant. No, thank you. Stagnant when it comes to your abundance here too. You have the power. It's your world. It's your life. You're manifesting beautifully. You're also being seen for your truth because that's all you've represented. You have the victory here. This is your first card and the last card, to be honest with you. It's the only card um, because you have this uncovering of the spy and the person or people that
that have had ill intent. It's uncovered. It's right here. It's due to the energy from within you. Pinnacle energy, I'm also seeing um, mirroring this moon energy and what's been happening according to your finances. But you have someone here who's seeing the truth and coming through to help you and assist you and support you. Being a great healer, being the same energy, it's mirroring energy because you're a hermit too. But you're finding support from another hermit who loves you very deeply is also what I'm getting. Who's come a long way to return back is also what I'm seeing to come get you and help you. And you having the victory. You doing this for yourself. And because you're doing this, it's just heightening the energy of you being supported is all I'm getting there. I'm going to leave it there, Virgos. Enjoy your peace. Enjoy your newness. And what's all been blessed for you and designed for you, possibly attempted to be kept from you. This person or people, whoever is being seen for their truth here too, as you grow stronger in your power and stay balanced with that polarity energy of Pisces being present there. So kudos to you. This is wonderful. Again, enjoy this. Take delight in it. You deserve it and all that and much more. Virgo Moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching here for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.